Artificial intelligence technology is the latest tool being used to combat gun violence in schools and other places. CNN's Josh Campbell takes a closer look at how it may save lives. An armed gunman approaches a high school, casing the exterior and eventually making his way inside. But before he even gets to the door, last known location is OHS main office. Law enforcement's en route. 600 miles away, a team of security experts is already aware of the situation. Identifying the weapon and possible shooter using artificial intelligence technology, they're alerting authorities. Rob, what did we just see? So you just saw a demo of Zero Eyes in action. What we do is I started out in the parking lot, I walked around with airsoft guns, not real guns, but they have the same shape. And we process the video cameras frame by frame and we ask one question, is there a gun in this image? This is only a simulation but illustrates how artificial intelligence is being used in response to a wave of mass shootings. Rob Huberty is chief operating officer of Zero Eyes, one of several emerging AI gun detection companies. He and a group of fellow former Navy SEALs are hoping to reduce the amount of time it takes law enforcement to stop a threat. We found it pretty uh, upsetting that you could look back at some of these terrible scenarios and see impending doom and not be able to do anything. We want you to know before any shots are fired. And with the added human element to their AI technology, they say they're able to provide detailed context to those responding on the ground. We have the human loop who's able to verify and send a verbal verification to that, you know, first responder, that main security point of contact. This simulation is taking place at Oxford High School in Michigan, one of several places piloting new gun detection technology. But of course, for the students and staff here at Oxford High, planning for a mass shooting isn't an academic exercise. Late last year, in the middle of a school day, this building became a crime scene. We are following horrible breaking news out of Michigan, yet another school shooting. The gunfire erupted this afternoon at a school just north of Detroit. The suspect fired multiple shots. There's multiple victims. Less than a year ago, a gunman shot and killed four fellow students and wounded others. The tragedy prompted additional security measures, including piloting zero eyes technology on some existing cameras throughout the campus. We knew someone bad was in the building and we didn't exactly know where they were to find them on the cameras. Um, this particular type of technology would pinpoint their location, geolocate them, and give that information again, not only to us, but also to first responders to find that individual quickly. While early detection technology might save police precious time in responding to a threat, there are still limitations. The Zero Eye system is designed to only detect a weapon that is brandished. And the cost of new technology might prove challenging for those school districts already facing budget constraints. Civil liberties advocates also warn. It could incentivize us to blanket our children's schools with surveillance cameras, which is not good for children. Um, th there are questions around effectiveness. Will this really stop a shooter, um, especially if it doesn't alert on a gun? Um, so there are practical questions and there are bigger questions about what this kind of technology will mean and where it will fit in in our society. Zero Eye says its platform, currently used by clients in over 20 states, was built with privacy concerns in mind. These cameras already exist. We're not putting any other cameras in. They're not watching real-time cameras. They're just seeing keyframe images. There's a box on the ground and they say, gun or no gun. If they verify that it is in fact a gun, they dispatch it. The hope? Alert authorities to a gun before it results in the next all-too-familiar mass shooting. I want to make the world a little bit better of a place. And this is a very simple tool that's just a step in the right direction. Now, Pamela, security experts tell us that there's no single way to stop this wave of mass shootings that we've seen across the country. Mitigation involves everything from access to weapons to physically securing potential targets. And it's on that point that these former Navy SEALs are hoping to make a difference, using technology to identify a gunman before a shot is ever fired. Let's hope, let's hope it can do that. What a fascinating story. Thank you so much.